Oh, good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. It's surprising how quickly this has become our, our norm, how quickly we've adapted to logging on to social media, to meet with friends and to pray. But this isn't the norm. We aren't made to be in isolation. We're not made to be alone. Somebody told me this week, we are all in the same boat. And that may well be true. We are all in the same boat, but we are not all in the same storm. There are a few pictures in front of you this evening, different images to do with the water and with boats. A tiny little canvas that Emily painted, some scripture from Hebrews that reminds us that we have a hope as an anchor for the soul. And some readings from Psalm 57 that says, I will take refuge under the shadow of your wings until the storm has passed. You see, for some of us, this new norm might not have brought a storm. It may have offered us a time to rest to recuperate, to step back from our busy lives and to be still in our boats. For others, there's now a gentle lapping of water on their boat, a little adjusting to the waves around us, to the time we spend with family and what it means to be at home, but we continue on our boat with a gentle breeze. For others, there is a crashing that is building all around them. They feel like they're struggling to keep their boat intact. The waves are powerful and the storm is becoming unbearable. We might all be in the same boat, but we are all in different storms. Tonight's reading is taken from the book of Luke chapter 8. A familiar story, but in times of uncertainty, we need the familiar. We need the reminder of a God who is the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. A God who is all powerful. So, Luke chapter 8. One day, he got into a boat with the disciples and he said to them, let's go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A windstorm swept down on the lake and the boat was filling with water and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased, and there was calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed, and said to one another, Who then is this, that he commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him? I'm going to read that scripture again in a moment, but for now, I want you to consider the boat you find yourself in and the storm on your sea. Are you the person who has the gentle waves lapping? Are the winds around you increasing? Let's focus our eyes on the Lord. One day, he got into a boat with the disciples and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A windstorm swept down on the lake and the boat was filling with water and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. 
and he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was calm. He said to them, where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed and said to one another, who then is this that he commands even the winds and the water and they obey him? The familiarity with the scripture brings comfort and a reminder of what it means to have hope in the face of uncertainty and doubt. In the midst of fear and storms, we are given peace. We're going to have a piece of worship music now, so sit back and relax with the more familiar time of prayer this evening we're going to consider what it means to be in the storm and to place Jesus at the centre. 
Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was calm. Gracious God, we come to you not as 100% believers, not without a shadow of a doubt, but as honest seekers after truth, trusting that we are following you. We do not ask for the certainty that traps us in a padlocked box, but rather for the mix of faith and doubt that enables us to keep discovering more of you. May we never fear questions, for questions test the truth and give us a more secure place to stand. Jesus, be the centre in our storm. Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was calm. Gracious God, when doubt has gone further and we or others have lost our way, when your voice has gone silent and the burning bush has gone out, give us patience to wait, to be still, to be open to friends, to knock gently on new doors. Help us to understand that your mystery cannot be packaged and delivered online. Reassure us that you are still God and we are still your people. Jesus, be the centre in our storm. Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was calm. Gracious God, may our church be open to the challenges of the world. Help us to meet people's needs for something deeper. Help us to identify those places where we can listen without fear and offer hope in a storm. Jesus, be the centre in our storm. Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was calm. Gracious God, we pray for those we know who are battered by their storm. It may be their physical health, their mental health or their spiritual health. I ask you now to name those people before the Lord, those that we know who are struggling in the storms of their life, as we ask Jesus be the centre of their storm. Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was calm. Gracious God, we pray for the countries battered by the storm of violence and war. We name them before you now, Lord, and we ask that Jesus, you be the peacemaking centre of their storm. I pray for Pakistan and for Bangladesh.
Master, master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased and there was calm. Gracious God, the storms of life batter our boats and only you have the ability to restore peace. Jesus, be the centre of our storm. Protect our boats and bring us peace. Amen. Would you join me with our Lord's Prayer? We say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening for evening prayer. I hope you'll be able to join us again at 9.30 in the morning. Until then, stay safe, stay well and God bless.